In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a full stack application with a product called Uware, where we can use simple natural language here or image or code to basically simply upload this to this platform and generate a full stack application with this. And there's also many MCP servers that we can choose from. For example, we can add the backend feature to build a full stack apps with the database, the edge functions, and build-in authentications, which I'll show you in this video. And there's also features for AI application that we can integrate to the platform. For example, we can integrate our application with natural language model, or we can also integrate with the image generations using the latest model with the mid-journey to create an artistic image generation images. And what's really cool, which I'll show you later in this video, is that there's there's also a vibe coding community where you can be able to see other applications, other projects that other people have built. So let's say if we found a project that's very interesting and we can click on build on this to build on top of the applications or projects the other has built. So let's say if we wanna build a game or an MVP application using these platforms, you can simply use Uware here to do this. And I'm gonna show you how you can do this in this video. So if you're interested, let's get into it. All right, so to get started, first thing first, we navigate to uware.com. And here you can see this is the community for the Vibe Coding Spotlight, where we can view all the projects that other people have done. But let's say if we wanna create our own project, we're gonna click on create, or we can also use the upload feature where we upload the code files that we have developed already and use it to develop or build on top of it using this Vibe Coding tool. And what's really cool about this is that it also supports the IDE installation as well. So it also works with VS Code or Cursor, which I'll show you in the later of this video, where you simply you can install Uware and be able to publish the project on your local IDE. But back to Uware, we can also paste the code if we just have a simple HTML or TSX file that we wanna paste and build on top of it. So let's say if we wanna create from scratch. So here you can see there's a couple options. So here we have the MCP tools we can add. So here inside of the MCP tools here, you can see that we have many options we can choose. So for example, we can use the Figma design here to copy the link for design and using AI to convert it into web applications. Or we can also use YouTube here where we can search for videos or also for comments or channel data, or we can use that for the application we wanna build. Or we can also use the Google Maps or Superbase here you can see where we can be able to do the data storage. Or we can also use Firecrawl here to crawl data from the web and doing some web scraping to find real-time data. So now if I wanna build the application from scratch, so here you can see I'm in the create section. And here you can see I basically use Gemini here to generate the prompt for basically what I wanna create, which here you can see is creating a crypto DCA calculator where we have a simple tool that calculates and visualizes the results of a dollar cost averaging investment strategy. So here is gonna use the Firecrawl MCP servers here to call or scrape historical data or price data from the CoinGecko. And here you can see that we have the user input layout, uh, also the results and also the charts if we have one and then workflow and also logic. So these are the things that we wanna specify. So once we satisfy with this, then I'll basically copy this and paste it to the prompt that we have. And here, I'm just gonna send this request, let you wear here to build this from scratch. And up here, we can also enable for the browser notifications. So here we can be able to update it. So here we're just gonna say updates enable. So currently you can see that it's analyzing the file, creating a to-do list on things that it's gonna do to build this application. And if you were to look at the to-do list that it generates, first thing first, it's gonna create the styles, JavaScript, also creating the chart visualization using the chart library, Firecrawl to scrape the historical data for the price and also calculating the functionalities for different inputs, responsive designs and mobile compatible. Okay, so here you can see it has completed some stuff. So with the HTML, JavaScript and CSS. So eventually you can see that we get the final results here. So we have the crypto DCA calculator, which shown here, you can see we have some selectors where we can select the inputs for which cryptocurrencies we wanna select. And here you can see, let's say for select Bitcoins and investment amount, let's say if I want to put $1,000 per day. So here we can change the frequency monthly or daily and start dates when we wanna start invest and when we want to end the investment for the DCA. So once we set those form, right? So once we set those data, you can see that this is the result look like. So we have invested uh, $8,000 for those eight, seven days. And this is the average buy price, the total return uh, percentage. So you can see that we have our chart visualization, which shows the total invested as well as the portfolio value for these seven days. So pretty much you can see that this is how we can be able to build anything with this, but you can notice that there's an error that Amazon was included. So if we want to make this change, we can select this div and send this request saying that for this uh, selector, please remove this and eventually remove the Amazon selector. So now if I were to select um, $100, for example, and change the start date and also the end date to a different time, 
let's say four days for example just to make it easier to calculate you can see that this is the average buy price and now if i were to select the cryptocurrencies you can see the amazon selection is gone okay so you can see that we can make changes with this and we can also publish this so once we publish this we can also copy the link and also come to a new tab visit it here you can see this is the cryptocurrency calculator that we just mentioned and this is how we can be able to interact with it share this link to other people and other people can try it out now there's also a backend feature that you can add for example here you can see i have select the backend feature where we can be able to add the backend and database so here you can see inside of this it gives you a overview on what it does so basically it gives you the database the edge functions and also the built-in authentications so here you can see I basically provide the prompt saying that please add the authentication and the feature where user can be able to log in and save their calculation results. So here you can see the feature is added. So here, after I logged in into the application using the UWare account, you can see that here, based on the calculation results, I can be able to calculate this. And once I calculate this, you can see, I can also be able to scroll down and be able to save the calculation. So if I were to save the calculation, you can see that saved successfully, and I can be able to see the calculation histories that I had before. And here you can see if I were to choose a different date, run the calculation, for example. And here, let's say if I were to save this as well, and here you can see I have two calculation histories. So now I can be able to load the past calculation results. So let's say if I were to click one of them to load the past conversations or calculations, here you can see this will the result look like. So pretty much you can see that there's also backend features where you can have the database, the API, and also the authentications all handle with this MCB tools using UWare. And just to show that it also work with different accounts. So here you can see I was using the shared link here to navigate to this page. And here you can see I have logged into a different account. And after I logged into a different account, everything still works. So you can see that I automatically logged in into the application. So here, let's say if I were to choose some amount and calculate the results, you can see that everything works as well. So now let's say if I were to log out to this application and try to log in with my own account, for example, using Eric Tech, then here you can see everything works fine and I can be able to still see the past calculations that I did with this account. So now let's take a look at some other cool applications that other people has built in the community. For example, I was able to look at the community and found a really cool application where you can upload a input image. It's going to generate a GIF. So let's say if I were to upload an image of myself and here we're just gonna click on create Q type and it's gonna generate this. So let's wait for a bit until it generates. But while I was waiting, there's also a comic book generator where here I'm also gonna upload the same image here and it's gonna generate a comic book based on the image that we upload. And while it's waiting for it to generate, there's also games that people create, where here we can also be able to build on top of this. So here, we, if we were to click on build on this, so what's gonna happen is that it's gonna clone this. So here we can be able to make any additional modification with this, or we can just simply just play the game, right? So we can be able to change, instead of neon lights, we wanna change it to some different colors or different specs, different styles, everything we want. And back to the first one that we're waiting for, for the GIF generator, you can see to generate a GIF, that we can use. So I can also download this GIF and here I can be able to upload a GIF that I generate. So this is my GIF. And here you can see I basically wrote comments. Every tech was here, which here I can be able to engage with the community and be able to see what other have generated using this application. And coming back to the comic book generator, you can see that it's able to use my image generate a comic book based on the image that I provided, which is really cool as well. And lastly, I also want to test the idea where you can be able to upload a UI design and it's going to generate the application based on the image that we provide. All right, so let's say if you found a UI design for an application you want to build, which looks very cool. For example, this one where it looks very similar to Tinder. Uh, let's say if I were to copy this image and, and here I'm going to paste this image saying that please build an app like this. And here also give us the autocomplete for the things that are related to what we're trying to build. So I can press tab here to accept. And you can also continuously autocomplete this. So I'm also gonna add the locations feature. Let's see with secure logins, real-time notifications, advanced search filters. And what's really cool is that you can also add additional MCP servers for the Superbase. So let's say if we don't wanna use the backend feature built in in UWare, you can also add a Superbase feature as well, where here we just have to paste the service role key from Superbase, which tell you exactly how you can get this. So if I were to click this and create the service role key, here I just gonna generate, for example, UWare key. It's gonna generate the key, which I can paste it here to add it to the MCP server. So now you can see that the Superbase uh, is added. So now what we can do is we can use the Superbase to create our edge functions and also our database. So now let's go ahead and let's see what it generates for this application. All right, so here you can see this is what the result look like, which here you can see this is the fully functional application for a dating app. So here you can see it contains pretty much everything 
that we have for the image. So here you can see we can convert it into mobile view. And if you were to look at the Superbase, you can see that it creates a dating app projects in Superbase. So if we were to click into this, uh, here you can see, basically we have four tables here on the right. And let's say if we were to look at a table editor, you can see that these are all the tables that we have inside of our database. So here you can see that we can also add additional user here. So let's say if I were to create a user and here, let's say if I were to use that user here that I created to log into the application, you can see that everything's working. I can be able to complete my profile. I can be able to input my informations. And here what's really cool is that there's also interest that we can input, but most importantly, there's also locations which auto detect that I'm located in Vancouver region. So it's gonna put that in the location here. So once I save the profile, you can see that we can be able to use the application, but currently we don't have any users. So I'm just going to have you were here to seed or make some mock users added onto the database so that we can have some users that we can work with. So here I'm just going to write this prompts and let you wear here to generate the users into the application so that we can use and see what the application looks like. So now you can see that the application is fully added with a bunch of users here. You can see that these are the users which contains names, the informations, the age, the location and such. So I can be able to, you know, swipe right or swipe swipe left to, you know, based on each profile that we see here. So here you can see I can swipe right or I can also swipe left like the person and dislike the person, just like how we use it for Tinder, right? So now I can also click on matches and here notice that I don't have anything, but I do see that at the right bottom here, there is also an error. So if I were to click this and I can be able to pass it to the UWare here to fix it. And I can also look at the console log to see what are the errors right now that we see for this application. We can also add this to the chat and be able to let you wear here to fix this. Awesome, so pretty much that's it for this video. You can see that we can use you wear here to create our applications or uploading images or code. And we can also be able to view the community projects that other people have built. And like I mentioned, if we found an interesting project, we can also build on top of it by clicking on build on this and we can be able to build on top of projects that other people have built. Awesome, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you do found value in this video, please make sure to like this video, consider subscribe for more content like this. But with that being said, I will see you in the next video.